What's up, guys? Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation here with the PSN Spotlight on the Marietta Blue Devils football team out of Marietta, Georgia. Now, the Blue Devils started off the 2018 season with a lot of expectations to make a deep run in the Georgia High School Association Class 7A state playoffs. However, injuries to key players like quarterback and Tennessee commit Harrison Bailey would see the Blue Devils wrap up their 2018 season 5-6 and six overall and 4-1 and one in their region and also suffering a first-round loss in the state playoffs to East Coweta. However, with the 2019 season officially underway, we got a chance to stop by the Blue Devils' first day of practice and spoke with head coach Richard Morgan about this year's expectations. And as he put it, they expect to be better every day. They're also excited to put a product on the field that the community is going to be proud of. Product that includes, once again, the before mentioned Harrison Bailey leading the way. Also, Arik Gilbert, the number two tight end in the country according to ESPN's 300 and newcomer Ricky White, who just recently committed to Michigan State. Once again, the Blue Devils are excited, and we were excited to check them out. Coach Morgan, first off, thanks for allowing me to come out and cover you guys. First day of practice, you're uh, starting your acclimation period. Uh, how you guys feeling out there? I, I felt great today. I thought the kids flew around, made a lot of plays, didn't make mistakes. They were running everywhere. Um, enthusiasm was great. Energy was great. So uh, I couldn't be happier about day one. Uh, tomorrow's day two. We'll see how that goes. But today was a great first day. Talk about the expectations you all have set upon on yourselves. Obviously, last year there were expectations. You had some injuries throughout the season to key players. Um, this year you bring in Ricky White. What are the expectations you guys have put upon yourselves this year? Well, right now our, our biggest expectation is to get better every day, to improve as people in the school, in the community, be leaders. And we feel like if we take care of the integrity and the mental toughness and passion and the accountability and the courage and, the, and being a team, we feel like we could have a really good season and, you know, you wait until November or December, but you're trying to go 1-0 and every week, trying to get better every week, and if you do those things, you'll have an opportunity in November and December to play for bigger things. Um, so that's all we can control and focus on. So I just want them, if they, if they keep getting better from today, we're going to have a really good season because today was a great day. If they just keep improving, um, you know, I like where we're at, and uh, I put these guys up against anybody and, and see how it goes. Okay. Key points of focus for you guys offensively and defensively? Well, I mean, our biggest thing, you know, offensively is we got to get a little more consistency in our run game. Our offensive line is back and healthy, and most of them are seniors now, so they've been playing for a long time. Um, got to keep our quarterback upright, and our receivers, we expect them to make a lot of big plays. We got to cut down on the turnovers. We had too many fumbles last year that cost us some games, um, you know, and we can't do nothing about the injuries. We just play as hard as we can, and that's just something you can't really control. But uh, controlling the turnovers and being dominant up front on the line are the two areas that we got to really – get good at in order to uh, be competitive. As you guys, like you said, uh, you know, this is a school that's very well um, prominent in the community. As you guys get ready for the start of the season, what are, what are some of the things you want to put out there to the community just about coming out and continuing to support? Well, I mean, these guys do so much um, community service hours, and they give back to the community, and this community supports us like, like no other community in the state of Georgia. So, um, our kids are going to play as hard as possible. They're going to be good role models, and they're going to play an entertaining brand of football. So I, I know the community is excited about that, and uh, you know they, they've been waiting for this season for a, for a long time now, for like the last eight, nine months after last season. They've been waiting for this opportunity. So community is excited. We're excited. We're excited to put the product on the field that they're going to be proud of, and uh, it's a great community to live in. It's, it's the best one in Georgia, and that support is always there. So I can't wait to get going with them. And last question, Coach. Uh, Harrison, I noticed he looks like he's just that leadership role, like he has just – completely engulfed himself in that you got to be pleased with that he is he's been a leader since day one but I think as he's gotten older and continued to develop it all comes more natural to him now and he's just he just takes the field and everyone just kind of knows okay he's in charge let's go um, and that's what you want because as coaches we can't be on the field on Friday nights you got to have that leader on the field to to be the coach on the field on the offense and that's what he is he's really really good at it he embraces it uh, you know he's got that Peyton Manning quality to him that just you know I'm, he's immersed in the offense he knows what's going on he knows everyone's jobs and he just goes out there and does it by example and you can't ask for anything more especially from a 17 year old kid you can't ask for much more than that so I'm real pleased with his uh, his leadership development awesome coach well thanks once again for allowing me to come out looking forward to seeing you guys in action this year and good luck thank you very much appreciate you all right, we'd like to thank Coach Morgan and the Marietta Blue Devils for having us out. We want to wish them good luck in the 2019 season, and thank you for being a part of this PSN Spotlight. I'm Damian Lewis with Press Sports Nation.